Well, let's see. Well, that's a good start. You know, when you're setting up these live things, man, oh man, the technology is so frustrating most of the time. Well, okay, YouTube, it looks like you are live and happening, and Instagram, you are happening now. Tell me, am I sideways or am I the right way up? Somebody let me know. Like, in other words, is the camera set up right? I'm waiting for one of you guys to answer me. Sorry, I'm checking with Instagram right now. Uh, okay, I'm getting a lot of hellos. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that this is working fine. Sideways. Okay. Thank you, Perseverance1501. So I am sideways, all right. So let's fix that right now. Sorry, guys, on YouTube. You see, I'm here. Hey, this is gonna be neat. Let's do a YouTube Instagram party. You guys can like connect to each other and answer each other's questions. Now that would be funky. So let's see. All right. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, okay. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Okay. Sorry guys, how's it going? I know you guys are whipping the, here come all the questions. I know, it's so many questions. And hellos and all that. And meanwhile, I'm just trying to mess with my phone here. Okay, Instagram. Here. That's gooder? Says Timmons in her backwoods. Better, better, better. Okay, so that's better. All right, YouTube. Hi, guys. Actually, you know what, Instagram? If anything happens, hop over to my YouTube channel, Survivor Man Left Stroud, and get on there and we'll watch from there. All right. So, let's see here. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm still messing with the technology. I'm just going to move you all around so you can see better. There you go. There you go, Instagram. All right. I should go live more often. Yes, I should, Perseverance. So, all right, I'll, so just so you understand, that's what I'm doing. I'm actually doing a trial here right now. I'm testing out both YouTube and Instagram. I've got a concert coming in Saginaw, Michigan at the Court Street Theater, and I'm gonna try and have a bunch of cameras showing it live. I'm also working on potentially doing, get ready for it, hold on to your socks, but maybe Survivor Man in the woods. Uh, uh, oh, this is weird. So I got YouTube and Instagram and I'm getting texts at the same time. My, my maintenance guy's asking me if the moose I saw in my driveway today was a big one. Um, in any event, in the words of uh, Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull, sorry about my silly hat, but it does help me with my dreadful insecurity problems. Well, guys, here's what's happening. I'm doing nothing, man. I'm at home and I'm just rehearsing for the show Saturday night. And I thought, well, let's check out the technology, bring you guys along. You don't have to hang out. You don't have to stay. It's a Thursday night. And uh, I'm not doing Survivor Man right now. I'm not doing Bigfoot, but I am working on my tunes. So that's what I'm gonna do for you. So if you're just chilling, pour a glass of wine, big mug of tea, whatever your pleasure is. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna jam a little, that's about it. I can't actually, I'm, I'm gonna be able to read all your comments when I'm finished with this and it downloads, and then we archive it, and then I'm gonna be going through your co comments for sure, so. But it's impossible to do that right now. So, here's what's happening. Uh, I've got two new albums I'm recording in the next two months, and, um, well, let's see. Okay. It looks like you're both still working. It's very unnerving because sometimes the, the texting stops and then I think, okay, well, did the signal die? I'm, I'm, I'm using the Elon Musk Starlink service right now since I'm out in the woods. Well, it doesn't look like the woods, does it? I know, but internet-wise, it's out in the woods. So I'm finally getting back out on tour and for those of you who've seen me play live, you kind of know what I'm all about. I do songs that celebrate nature, I do songs that talk about adventure, and I usually end up doing some st Survivor Man storytelling along the way. In fact, Saturday in Michigan, I'll definitely break halfway through and we'll do a kind of a Survivor Man Q&A. But I do love playing, and um, 
If you don't like me playing, then go, I don't know, go, uh, go watch She-Hulk or something. But here we go. I've decided as of lately, since I'm doing these gigs solo, to open up nice and slow. And I realized as I put the set list together that the songs I'm doing actually walk through the chronological journey that I went on becoming Survivor Man, as a matter of fact. So. This one's called Leaving It All Behind.
Misfits, uh, brand new song, although I've been doing it live for a little while. It's going to be coming out on um, next uh, actually, the album's named after it. The album's probably going to be called Leaving It All Behind. So, uh, I start off the concerts that way these days, nice and slow. I see your comments coming up. I'm going to sit down in a minute in between songs and uh, take a look at what you're saying and answer a few questions. As I said, the concerts that I'll be doing now, I'm going to walk through a, a bit of a chronolo chronological journey in my life. And before we get to Survivor Man, before we get to Beyond Survival, Bigfoot, and all of that world that, that I've been occupying for, for quite a long time now, there was a whole other life that I lived that was mostly out in nature, mostly adventuring. In fact, now that I think of it, I was, you know, when I was broke and in my 20s and I was an outdoor guide, I probably was felt the richest I ever felt because, you know, I, I'd, be, I'd be guiding actual rich people on canoe trips in the far north and they would always look at me in envy with the work that I did. And I used to think, yeah, yeah, you're right. I spend my life in a canoe. How can that not be about as awesome as it gets? So now with my set list, I'm, it's hard because I'm, I'm wanting to perform for you guys now, but I'm also wanting to just hang with you in Saginaw, Michigan, at the Court Street Theater. And I'll, by the way, Saturday during the day, I'm going to stop in at the Midland, uh, the, the Dow Grace Memorial Library, I think it's called, at Midland in Saginaw, Michigan. And I'm gonna be, this is not for the adults, I'm gonna be meeting the kids and reading from my, uh, my new children's book, Wild Outside, which is gonna be so, so cool. <clears throat> So if you're just chilling on a Thursday night, you can put me on in the background, I don't care. This next song uh, I wrote probably 30 years ago. Well, I guess not, no, it couldn't be because my daughter's 26, so I probably wrote 22 years ago. And when I play it, it's an instrumental. I want you to close your eyes if you're sitting there right now, drinking tea, whatever. I want you to close your eyes. I want, to put your, I want you to put yourself in a canoe. I want you to be just floating in that canoe on a serene lake, a glassy lake, or down a very gentle river. Because the name of this song, uh, which was inspired after watching some video shot of my, my daughter and I canoeing, is called Paddling with Raylan.
with Raylan. Raylan is the name of my daughter. And I uh, wrote that while watching uh, some video of her and I paddling 22 years ago, I guess. Um, so, I'm gonna switch guitars here. Ah. It's so bizarre because what happens in a player's mind when you're doing something like that, first of all, you guys are watching, which is just not fair. You should be sitting here in the room with me, maybe having a glass of wine, a beer, a cup of tea, whatever you like. Then I wouldn't be so like, you know, it wouldn't matter if I messed up. Of course, now, because you're watching me this way, I'm like, ah, oh, I hit a bad note. Oh, I can hear the B strings out of tune. Those things are rolling through your mind. Let me do one more, and then I'm going to try and read your comments and answer a few questions for you. Let's see. By the way, I will ask this one question, though. How's it sound? Is, can you hear everything okay? Am I wearing skinny jeans? Yes, Leslie, but don't, 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 uh, don't get, get on me for that. These are actually really old jeans that I pulled them out of the closet. They're only used when I'm cleaning up around the house and I was cleaning up around the house today. So I threw these on and I forgot to take them off before I turned you guys on. So yeah, these are really old skinny jeans. My fashion faux pas, big time, sorry. Okay, so is it sounding okay? I'm looking for, I see yes, yep. How about YouTube? Yep, okay, good. One more song. Sorry about the skinny jeans. I didn't mean it. I really didn't mean to wear these. I should have changed. Uh, where'd it go? There it goes. Okay. Well, for this one, I gotta stand up a bit. Make sure I can stand in place so you guys can still see me. There we go. Okay, check. One, two. This is a song, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing. If you guys are all right with it, I'm just gonna keep jamming and you can leave. I'm just gonna keep playing. Might as well have you there while I play because you're making, you're forcing me to play. You're forcing me to sweat is what you're really forcing me to do, but it makes me play a little more nervous. Because when I played last night with myself, I was awesome. We'll just have to pretend that I'm awesome now. So here we go. This is a song also that I wrote Again, chronologically speaking, with the sets that I'm doing these days, I'm walking up through the sets of, of my, my, the times of my life. And this song I also wrote back when I was living in New Liscard, Ontario. And it was pre-Survivor Man, as was that last song, Paddling with Raylan. It was before Survivor Man, and I was still holding on to a dream. Still holding on to a dream. I had kids, I was broke, married, but still holding on to a dream. And uh, this song came out of it. I also cheated, I'm using a looper, so here we go. Hop into the back seat, let's get out of this town. I'm tired of all the boredom, 
sick of hanging round Everyone is wasting And only bring me down Yeah, yeah South Dakota borders Not so hard to cross Two days on the prairies And all your fears are tossed Headed for the mountains Headed for the sea I wonder if the coastline
But that's why we have these practice sessions. Oh, I promise Saginaw, Michigan will be much better Saturday night. You guys got some questions for me? Let me come in close here. Instagram, you're down there. And YouTube, you're up here. Woo! Let's see. Two more Bigfoot videos. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hi, Bear. There we go. Somebody asked me to say hi, Bear. Wow, so interesting. The YouTube ones, I forgot to put on slow. They go by so quick, you can't read them. Come down here to Instagram. Don't sweat less. Because <laughs> you sweat, you die. When am I coming back to neat? Oh, yeah, really soon, I hope. I was going to call them, actually, to try and make that happen. All right, guys, so bring you in, into my world. I'm doing this because I'm just, I'm just rehearsing, just hanging out, hanging out with you guys now and uh, getting ready for a concert in Saginaw, Michigan, Saturday night at the Court Street Theater. Free bird. Seriously? Really? Um, I'll have to call back. Well, that's really interesting. Wow. So, I wonder how you do that when you're, when you're trying to do an Instagram Live and also a YouTube Live. Somebody phones, it interrupts what's going on. That's crazy. And then Instagram, you probably messed up there for a while because I could see it getting all jittery. All right, I don't want to say, I'm doing exactly what I accuse other guys of doing. Like, for example, Ben, I love Ben Harper. I love watching Ben Harper. But I watch him do his little his musical stuff just in his own home, and he doesn't have a handle on how to work with the phone very well. He gets, he gets a little bit nervous, and now here I am doing exactly that kind of blowing up. So, you know what, guys? I'm just gonna play. <clears throat> Whew, that warmed me up. All right, so again, going back in time, this next song is for those of you who really wish you could, well, in some ways go and do what I did, which is go and live in the wilderness for a year. Um, well, you can. Bit of a trick. It's not easy, especially nowadays. But I wrote this song. Uh, it's called "Free to Be," because you know the innuendo saying "Free to Be." There's a couple of points to it. You're free to be out in the wilderness, and uh, and, it, and it is so freeing at the same time. That's what this is called. It's from my first album. Yes, 
Years they come and years they go All I know is they all go by too soon Don't waste your days away Those 40 hours of work week Were never meant for me Lately I've been bitten by the bug that sets us free Wilderness wandering and ocean waves are calling Standing in a forest you can hear when trees are falling Oh, 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 this is free is free <sighs> that's from my first album this is why I brought harmonica out all aboard <laughs> I can hear you clapping, can I? In my in my in my head you're clapping. <clears throat> Whew. Let's do another one standing up and have some fun. This is one of the very first songs I ever learned.
in the open Just to let, just to let, just to let my soul free
Yeah, it's hot in this room. Let's do, uh, let's do something real slow here and brand new, absolutely brand new. Like I wrote it two weeks ago, which means I'll probably blow it right now. So I'm gonna need your, I'm gonna need your patience on this one. This is gonna be very mellow. Shall we get to that one? Yeah. Hopefully, I can remember the lyrics. So I just wrote this about two weeks ago. So if you're just chilling out, please continue to do so. This will be a good chance to get very mellow. Doesn't seem to matter It's neither here nor there When you walk in the wilderness Where your life isn't such a mess You can hear her care Which side you're on When you walk in the wilderness Where your life is in such a mess You can hear her song And she sings Doesn't seem to matter You can give to a charity It only leads to disparity When no one wants to share I wake up every morning With rosy glasses on and Take a walk in the wilderness Where my such a mess Just to hear her song
for anyone who needs a home. I'm thinking a French horn for a solo here. What do you think? Nice and mellow. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Maybe a flute. I've never played this in public before. It's the very first time. Don't wait till tomorrow What if there's only today? Take a walk in the wilderness Where your life isn't such a mess And you can hear her say I'm here for you Heaven knows I'm here for anyone Who feels alone First time I've ever played that, semi-publicly. Play it Saturday night in Saginaw, Michigan. I'll watch for your comments later to see what you think of that one. Oh, nice and mellow. Uh, while I'm here, hey, let's do, uh, maybe just do one more. Eh? This one I'm gonna do is for Marie. Marie and Steve, of Manitoulin Island. Oh, hell, I'm sitting down. I might as well stay sitting down. Some of you might recognize this. And uh, this album, my album called Mother Earth, has just been remastered and remixed and, re and, and is being pressed on double vinyl. It'll be coming out just in time for Christmas, so I'll have the whole Mother Earth album with bonus tracks on double vinyl, fold out, just like classic album time, man. I can't, I can't wait to get my hands on that. And uh, when I do, I'll come out and do some listening parties. <clears throat> you know, one of my dreams is actually to continue doing what I'm doing as a musician and to someday play in a concert and to start, start performing one of my songs and to be interrupted because the crowd knows the words. That's, that's, still, that's still a lifelong dream I'm working towards. But I will say that uh, Marie and Steve from Manitoulin Island, uh, I can, whenever I play this song, I can see them mouthing the words to this song. I can't tell you how good that makes me feel. So here we go, this is called Arctic Mistress. face 
go that's arctic mistress that song was written while i was in the arctic uh or at least it was it no sorry it was not that was written with a guy named brian potvin a wonderful songwriter and he came up with this very cold icy arctic feel to the the courting that he was doing then i came in with this sort of this melody and these these lyrics but it harkens back to when i was in the arctic and we did some filming there's some throat singing in the actual recording of the song that we recorded on an iceberg in the arctic with inuit throat singers it's really mind-blowing it's amazing um, so, let me come down and look at what you guys are saying and see if you want me to do any more or if we should call it a night. What do you think, guys? Oh, let's see here. Okay, I'll look up here at YouTube. Still working? Okay. Keep doing more. Indianapolis. All right, so now I'm looking down here. This looks like Instagram. Play on, please. Encore, eh? Okay. All right. A couple more. Ah, and then I got to go. Let's see. What can we do here? How about... Hmm. I'm going to do like... Here, I'm going to do a fun one. Let's do a little fun one here. This one... So this one. Mm -hmm. 
This is, uh, I don't know if any of you guys like uh, John Prine. So this was me f trying to be John Prine. So I was just having some fun one day and uh, came up with this silly, silly, silly little love song. So yes, I do write love songs too, not just, uh, not just nature stuff. But absolutely, when I get there Saturday in Saginaw, Michigan at the Court Street Theater this Saturday and at the Midland Library Saturday morning for the kids, I'll do this song when I'm at the theater that night. Silly Little Love Song, you ready? Not, no, not the Paul McCartney thing. My own Silly Little Love Song. This is called Look at Love. Look at love like it's a big fat fairy tale. Some others look at love like it's a long walk on the beach. Some people fall in love and it only makes them blue. rosy glasses on Some others think of love like it's a sad and lonely song Some people fall in love like they haven't had a clue I only fall in love when I'm looking at you I only look at It's a train bound for a station Some others run to love Like it's ice cream in July Some people sprinkle love On everything they do I only fall in love When I'm looking at you I only look at go little me me pretending I'm John Prine I miss that guy so so much anyway it's fun to write little songs like that can't read you guys down there I don't see any other request song requests but I'm just gonna play yep otherwise I'm gonna stand here staring at you reading your text which just makes no sense at all so guys, yes, by the way, this is, uh, this is my room. And yes, those are, uh, that's a bow and arrow up in behind me on the wall from Papua New Guinea. And over here are some, mo some more arrows from uh, Ecuador. And there's a blowgun behind you, you can't see that. And a shaman kit from Mentuai in behind you. So there's all kinds of, this is like it's my own little Indiana Jones survivor man um, abode. for you guys okay how about how about just because I'm having fun but two more no 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 let's do that one 
Okay, I'm just gonna do, I'm doing like new songs for you guys, which is actually kind of fun for me because I've never played any of these songs for anybody before and uh, I'll be unleashing them uh, in Saginaw, Michigan on Saturday. But you guys are like my little, my, my warm up. This is my warm up night. Sorry for the mistakes and for all you actual guitar players out there, I apologize, okay? I'm sorry. I'm a writer, not a player. Here, so I wrote this song. I did a song called Northern Wilds on my first CD. And um, that was for, that. it came out, I've rededicated it, but it did come out of a relationship once before. But I wrote this song for someone else. And uh, we're going to be cutting this song, this next song. The song I just sang, Look at Love, is coming out on the new album, as well as this one here. And uh, remember, all the time, guys, when I'm, when I'm singing the lyrics that I sing, I'm trying to, it's always like I did with Survivor Man or, or Beyond Survivors, to connect you to the wilderness, connect you to the wilderness, get you back out in nature. So this one, appropriately so, is called Take a Hike. Ah, let's take a hike Down a deep forest trail Brushing past pine boughs and fireweed Will no nature prevails Let's cross a creek By stepping on stones Carrying day packs, apples and trail mix Our forest home Yes, life is the season You'll take a moment to see Nature is where we are free ah, Let's climb a mountain the top, feeling our hearts beat through our chests, never to stop. Let's ride the back roads on fat, tired bikes, catching our breath as we race down the hill, turn to the right. You'll take a moment with me Cause nature is where we should be In the natural world All your problems unfurl If you'll take a moment to see Nature is where we are free in love while walking on snow you can't love a place unless it's a place that you know so let's take a hike down a deep forest trail brushing past pine boughs and fireweed will no nature prevail Nature is where we are free Yes, life is the season If you'll take a moment with me Cause nature is where we should be Let's take a hike Well to pack all this crap up to get ready to drive down to the States tomorrow, so. But I want to do this song before I go. Do one more fun song, and then come and talk to you guys a bit. Give my voice a rest. But thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging with me. I can't, I don't know how many of you there are there. I'll find out later when I look at the video, but. And I'll read all your comments, I promise. I do that, I, I actually do that. I read the comments in YouTube and Instagram. Not Twitter, I hate Twitter. God help me if I have to get on TikTok now. Ugh. Ugh. Social media. So I'm actually working on a way to do um, a live Survivor Man for you. Yes, that is right. 
You heard it here first, guys. I'm working on the technology right now. And it is possible. Last song, another new song. So I'm doing new songs, obviously, for the most part here. Another new song, I like this one a lot. It's probably the first and only dance song I'll ever write. Uh, but it's, uh, it's just, uh, I was in the midst of everything, maybe back in 2020. No, no, I couldn't have. No, I must have written this in 2019. But I was in the midst of something and I thought, I gotta lighten up, man. And that's how this song came about. This is a song called Nothing On Me. Last time I played this, I was at the Red Lily Vineyard in Oregon. And I had a whole bunch of like six-year-olds and four-year-olds and three-year-olds dancing. That warms the heart, let me tell you. I wanna dance in the sunshine. I wanna sing in the rain. I wanna swim in the ocean. Living in nature's refrain. Break it down. I wanna feel this forever Flying like birds on the breeze I'm gonna make my own weather I'm gonna live in the trees You've gotta see this to believe It's my heart out of my sleeve This madness ain't got nothing on me We are living wild and free it's the only way to be This madness ain't got nothing on me No, this madness ain't got nothing on me Yeah Woo. I wanna climb every mountain I wanna sail every sea I want to feel this forever Come share this moment with me You've got to see this to believe It's my heart out of my sleeve This madness ain't got nothing on me We are living wild and free It's the only way to be This madness ain't got nothing on me No, no this madness ain't got nothing on me If you're at home and you're dancing, good. Maybe I should get somebody to put this on TikTok and see if we can get a, one of those crazy dance videos going. I want to dance in the sunshine. I want to sing in the rain. I want to swim in the ocean. Living in nature's refrain. You've got to see this to believe It's my heart out of my sleeve This madness ain't got nothing on me We are living wild and free It's the only way to be This madness ain't got nothing on me No, 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 no This madness ain't got nothing on me Yeah No, this madness Wish my band was with me for that one. You should hear the guys jam out on that. All right, I'm coming down to you. There we go. Let's see now. Okay, actually, let's bring YouTube down to Instagram. If you guys could see what I'm doing, I'm literally here with like cell phones on mount. So YouTube looks a little blurry. Hmm. Instagram. Uh, all right, now I can read what you guys got going on there. Whew. 
Okay, I'm sweating. All right, I'm gonna try and just take a look at what you guys are saying. I just saw you, Perseverance. Perseverance, you're always welcome. I'll always perform for you. Hopefully, I'll be, uh, where is that theater that I played? You told me about it. Is it in Pennsylvania? Is that where, we, is that where you are? What's that theater? Uh, shoot, Sellers Theater in Pennsylvania. That was, that was actually a nice gig. I'll come back. So I'm working on getting out there, guys. So tomorrow, dropping another video. As you guys know, if you're on Instagram over here and you haven't joined me, subscribe to my YouTube channel over here, please do. I drop videos every Friday. There are hundreds of Survivor Man videos there and I'm dropping one tomorrow. Tomorrow's a pretty special kind of video I'm dropping for you guys on YouTube. Uh, Friday, 10 a.m. It's, it's we, found, um, we found archival footage that had gone missing of me learning how to, su how to survive in the desert, being taught by David Halliday, the desert expert. And I, at the time, I filmed it all. So uh, that is, um, that's coming out tomorrow. So we put that one together, and I'm going to look for the other ones, too, because I'm pretty sure I filmed uh, training in Australia, training in Costa Rica. And so it's this old footage of me in, like, 2002 and 2003 and four training as Survivor Man, getting ready to film a week of Survivor Man in those locations. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm really, it's actually pretty exciting for me to, to see it. So thank you. I see a bunch of join from my Instagram friends. Thank you for joining. Believe me, the YouTube thing is, is where it's at for me because that's where I put everything. Sure, I talk to the networks and I've got some new series pitches out. Guess what? I actually sent an email just the other day uh, and we're, we're going to talk uh, in a couple of days. It seems like they finally got their, they're getting their act together. But I said, hey, Discover Channel, what about, uh, what about a Survivor Man return? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, so we're gonna see. We'll see what they say. Uh, you never know. Uh, I'm I'm trying to. This is, so, this is so bizarre. I'm trying to read and and talk at the same time. Okay, now I'm seeing it. There we go. Aqua. Somebody says, "Heck yes." Yeah. Somebody goes, "What?" Uh, yeah. So yeah, absolutely. And if I do the Survivor Man returns, think of the think of how I could do some of it live, which I think I can. So we'll see. It uh, costs money to put together a show like that, so I got to get the right people behind it, all, everybody in place. But if uh, Discovery jumps, uh, I'm in, man. I'll, I'll make it. It'll be, we'll be rocking it. Uh, let's see. I can't tell anymore how many people are looking at this. But uh, in any event, guys, thanks so much, man. This was just hanging out with me. I'm sorry I flubbed a bunch of notes, and sorry I probably sang a bit flat. Uh, I'm tired. I've just I've been rehearsing all week. I'm trying to get this going, and you guys made me nervous. Um, so, but that's good. That's good. Good to make me nervous. Remind me that, oh yeah, this is a part of the song where I really got to concentrate or I'm going to hit, hit a wrong note, especially soloing since I'm, I'm a bit of a hack that way. Um, I got a whole bunch of other songs. Set, here's the set list, by the way. Uh, 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 that's not all on there, but that's, uh, that's some of the set list that I'm probably going to be doing, uh, including those new ones that I played for you. Uh, is this my studio? Uh, actually, yes, it is. Yeah, this is my studio. Check out that right in the background. Look at that guy right there. Now, oh, you, you guys can't see it. Wait a minute. That guy right there. Uh, I feel so bad having that, that because it was probably pillaged from some sacred place uh, in Sri Lanka. But there it was for sale uh, in Sri Lanka. And so, and I thought, you know, I'm going to bring that home, man. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot again for hanging out with me. Um, this was a test. I wanted to see how, I already knew with Instagram we can make this work, but I wanted to see how it would work with YouTube. So this is a test and we're gonna see uh, how this all worked and hopefully I will bring you guys live with me Saturday night in Saginaw, Michigan from the Court Street Theater. But if you live close by, come on out. It's 20 bucks at the door. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a cheap night and, you, and I'll do, definitely do a meet and greet, hang out after the show and... Um, uh, oh, I see Love Wild Harvest. Thank you. For those of you guys who are watching, haven't heard, seen my show, Wild Harvest, that's my new series. You got to check it out. Working on getting season three going for that now too, actually. Um, so there you go. Again, Instagrammers, please join YouTube over here. YouTubers, thank you guys. We're going to keep the stuff coming for you. I feel like I have to talk fast when I'm doing this. It doesn't make any sense at all. I'm trying to just like be kind of mellow. Anyway, I'm seeing all the comments and they're looking great. Yes, Toronto area gig, hopefully. Hopefully lots of gigs. Lots of touring. I've got shows coming up in Oregon, down in um, Jacksonville, uh, and um, uh, Grants Pass area, and again, Saginaw, Michigan this Saturday. So I'll get as many shows going as I can. All right, guys. 
I'm gonna hang up, man. Sorry, I feel so bad because you're all talking to me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna read your comments after this. All right, let's see how, it, now I don't even know how to do this. Okay, how do I, no, okay, so hang on Instagram. Let me see if I can shut YouTube down. Let's see how this works. Um, let's see, I hit the X there. Are you sure you wanna stop streaming? See, I'm learning this stuff right now. Am I sure I wanna stop streaming? Bye, YouTube.